has come up, so we're going to do that instead. And if that didn't pull through, I would have done uh, just the Blood Talisman. This is good because, hey, it's another overload, and, um, B, um, we wouldn't have gotten enough overloads otherwise from just doing elementals to be able to get ourselves close enough to a single point. which I use a lot of Dale Essence. That's not really best XP per hour, so there's only so long you could do that. Um, it's not the best XP per hour in the, in the sense of like if you calculate actually obtaining it, it's better to just run CMI with a bunch of... Uh, we're just going to place this overcharged here. Sorry, hopefully I catch most of the really loud motor vehicles that have been driving by and uh, I'm able to lower them in uh, my little post-production that I do, which I've been opening up on Audacity and messing with the compressor a little bit, so um, it's a lot easier to see uh, the spikes in decibel, unlike what I was doing before. just looking at it in uh, Vegas, of course, <laughs> which does not do a super good job of showing you clean, uncompressed audio. I'll straight back into fire here, and once again, we will imbue. And so if you, if you strictly run Elemental and you do not worry about uh, any, like, catalytic alters at all, and you're not trying to, like, min-max points with overcharged cells, then you, um, can get up to, like, eight, nine points strictly in elemental. You could probably get up to ten if you do, like, a totally efficient run, if I'm being honest. And, uh, that's definitely worth, uh, <laughs> considering, as I know some of you maybe don't like the aspect of the game where, you know, you're switching back and forth and you're trying to calculate things in your head. You will lose some points per game. So let's see, I actually for just forgot to imbue there. I, that was actually very sloppy. That's that would have put me much closer to the rounding territory. <laughs> but it is what it is. In fact, that would have put me in the rounding territory. That's quite depressing. Let's see if I could actually mine one just to It's looking like a nope. Yeah, well, okay. Oh, we do have time. 
this will only give me four. Well, moral of the story is you will round up. I believe I was told that it's for each point over, you know, the factor of 100, uh, you are, um, you have that percent chance of rounding up to the next integer, or to the next factor of 100, rather, not the next integer. So, uh, our catalytic did or did not round up, I actually don't remember what points I was at. That was a, an eight-point game, and that wasn't even that great. Um, yeah, it was pretty sloppy. See, the game I ran right before I came, it was a nine-point game. Um, I've gotten up to an 11-point game using the imbued essence method, where you're kind of trying to min-max between the two. But I tend to kind of get my rewards a little bit separately, just kind of for the, I don't know, for the fun of it. It's a little bit more tolerable than getting just a couple permits per game. I mean, I know at the end of the day, you are still just getting those couple permits per game. But it, I don't know, just, you know, it hits a little different. And when you, <laughs> when you're training into the 80s, which granted, actually, a lot of my room crafting XP is from CMI, not Guardians of the Rift. That's why I'm only 164 kill count at 80 rune craft. It's a lot of CMI and no XP lamps, really. Um, Save one. So, you know, one major, one, one elite diary. Um, so, yeah. Um, do I regret not coming here earlier? No, not really, uh, because I can run grab bloods here, which is nice. Um, I'll try to include photos of before and after shots of my runes doing this, because that'll be pretty entertaining. Um, Note a disclaimer if you hear this that uh, my blood rune stack is a little um, <laughs> inflated from doing actual blood crafting, I'd say, uh, just to test it out. So there's a few thousand more than uh, <laughs> I actually obtained from Guardians of the Rift or, or CMI, you know, any actual rune crafting methods or rewards. start off immediately. Craft to check to see if people have been putting cells down. It looks like they have. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, we all also, I don't think I did this last game because I wasn't paying close enough attention. I'm, I'm sorry guys, but you should always just take a single weak cell and place it down before you go in. Uh, you would be surprised how many people don't do it and how much uh, could actually sway RNG of losing a game, like you, you really would be surprised because once a barrier goes down, there is a high tendency for it to not get repaired because it requires 10 essences and obtaining 10 essences at the very start of the game is uh, just kind of weird. It's okay, I did not, um, <laughs> not only, Jesus Christ, not only did I not bind to those, this is not good gameplay. <laughs> Not only did I not bind to those, but, um, I can fill my root pouches, so we're not going to do that next time. But that's fine, I mean, you know, it's always fine. Southwest, boom, got that compass in my head. This is 
this horrible game plague. I really have no idea what I'm showing you. I mean, I did get a lot of, <laughs> did get a lot of essences, but yikes, that was still kind of rough. Yeah, so we're going to deposit these runes. Um, when you're working with a large pouch, your rotations, if you're not trying to maximize your overcharge cells, which I sometimes do, I sometimes don't. Depends how much attention I want to pay. Um, see, like right now, in fact, I, I actually will head out and uh, take advantage of this just because we're not going to have enough shards to do the entire game anyways. And uh, maybe I should grab deaths because, you know, good runes, death runes are always the one that uh, you have a shortage of as an Iron Man. Um, but I was going to go to the fire <laughs> to fucking find him, and while I was rambling, I forgot to do that. I promise I don't always forget to uh, imbue them. It's because I'm trying to ramble, and I just did a lot of hours of straight farming, um, mostly catalytics without binding necklaces in my inventory. Um, and I did quite a bit of that, in fact, uh, most of these elemental points, like the first 90 or so, came from mostly, um, binding. So we, we will go here and, and catch this, this air altar. I will have to load it after this game, uh, due to the fact that I have to, uh, appear somewhere. So, it looks like we are not going to be able to see the whole loop, which is fine. Uh, but, um... You know, we'll, we'll still get almost 120 loads, and then I'll have some catalytic saved up, which will be so yeah, I'll do a fully elemental run in this case, and you can see I'm I already uh, those bloods are attempting, but I, I'll hold off. <laughs> the uh, fully elemental run has already got me a, a ton of points, and I even messed one of them up, right? So you know, I didn't on that one that's a loss of, uh, what was it, 40, 44 points, I think, for full inventory, so yeah, we're just gonna go straight into the fire here and get rid of this, a little magic imbue on our way up this time, yeah, quick enough, again, 47, not bad. Uh, this is this is definitely a much better ramble, even though I I haven't said much. I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm rambling, and it's in the purest uh, free association <laughs> form, where I'm just saying whatever is on the total surface level of my uh, conscious mind. As um, this is an interesting mini game in the way it, it splits your attention, it kind of forces this, uh, I don't know, odd inability to articulate yourself. Maybe if you have, like, ten times the amount of runs I do, or maybe even double, I don't know, but even all the way up at, you know, 160, whatever I'm at, I still cannot, uh, I cannot ramble totally succinctly. I mean, I am definitely a little tired right now, but I don't think that's it, everyone. <laughs> I think it's uh, ADHD at play with uh, the content. So we will get these 11, and then uh, it would have been nice if we could have caught that fire. That would have been perfect for the overcharge. In fact, this is really weak. Uh, what we will probably do, just 
you know, for the sake of maximizing our points, we'll probably do the nature alter here to get a strong cell, and then it'll pretty much guarantee us a catalytic, and hopefully we will round up for an elemental, as we'll be at, a, I believe, 75% chance. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty much guaranteed to, to round up and catalytic. 99% chance, and then uh, we will we will do our looting. We'll, uh, we'll hopefully get ourselves a nice lantern. Which is not the most expensive piece, which will be pretty cool. Wow, 
two abyssal ashes in a row. I'm sure that's not common. Okay, for the last 60. Sorry, oh my god. For the last 60. Could uh, tore you through my rune stack here, yeah. So, this is uh, an aftershock. this away here. Now hopefully we can do this in one go. Well here actually before we finish, since we are at 170, this should be, oh no it's not enough. Wow, okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I will indeed have enough to afford the hat with the last 60. I mean I should. It's it's the last half of the load, so let's just, uh, let's hope here, because we're actually already closer to the 50s. Alright. We need, like, 60 more. We're doing okay so far. I mean, two loads within a couple is good. Looking to get at least two pulls before the 40s, come on. exciting stuff. Some some good pearls and some of the later ones I think. <laughs> 